and Teresa numerical problems in a weightage or chapter on thermodynamics. And repeated numerical problems so the topic on gives energy change and spontaneity of a reaction. Like spontaneous in one reaction spontaneous on the barrel and then they can what is the relation between spontaneity and Gibbs energy change? We do exam repeated So, we repeat exam. So, what is the spontaneous reaction? When reaction spontaneous reaction is spontaneous, where are you help? external agency force? Our reaction is not taken. A process that takes place without the help of an external agency. All natural process is spontaneous process. And the best example is Vella Chatta. Vella Chatta is not an external force. It is not an external force. It is not an external So the best example is Vella Chatta. Flow of water from high level to low level. Flow heat from hot body to cold body. Chudala pathrathamaka for pitchina, namadakai polo. It's an example for spontaneous process. It is spontaneous process in a very peril and it no, also called feasible or probable or irreversible reactions. Ella spontaneous reactions um, irreversible reactions are So in the spontaneous reaction, the Ella makalaku bunchilai kana. What is a non spontaneous reactions? In the non spontaneous reactions, spontaneous reactions in the parnea external agency to help spontaneous reactions. Apol non spontaneous in the a process that takes place with the help of an external agency or external agency de sahayathodu koodi nadakkuna reactions are in the spontaneous reaction a process that takes place with the help of an external agency and the best example for a non spontaneous process thalukku ellarkum parichay undu endarkum nammal daily veedugalile thaaya kanettile vellam melake adichu motor adichu ketarund ille ee motor nu vanna or external agency le this external agency is the tank. So, it's an example for non spontaneous reaction. Then comes uphill cycling. We have a force in the water. We have a cycle in the water. Downhill downhill is easy to go. So, uphill cycling is an example for non spontaneous reaction. This is an important topic. The relation between spontaneity and gives energy change. So, in your education, all of you participate exam in the exam. That is delta G equal to delta H minus T delta S. In the terms of the delta G is gives energy change. Gives energy change. And delta H and the delta H and the H and the H Enthalpy change. One reaction is the same. That is the energy change. We will look at the enthalpy change. T is all over. What is T? It is temperature. A reaction is the same. Particular temperature is T denoted. And last, what is delta S? Delta S is the same. It is entropy change. Entropy change. So, delta G equal to delta H minus T. T delta S. In this equation, we use the term Gibbs energy change of spontaneity. We relate to the term. We use the term reaction of Gibbs energy change delta G less than 0. That reaction is a spontaneous reaction. That is, delta G less than 0 implies the reaction is spontaneous. And Delta G the value greater than zero on angle. It implies the reaction is non spontaneous. Easy letter. Gibbs energy change in spontaneity to the relation less than zero on angle. The reaction is spontaneous. Gibbs energy change in the value greater than zero on angle. It is non spontaneous. What problems with the Yes, our question is the end. And entropy changes for a reaction are 
490 kilojoules per mole and 198 joules per kelvin per mole. Calculate the value of Gibbs energy change. Delta G and contribute can For this reaction at 300 kelvin, predict whether the reaction is spontaneous at this temperature. This temperature la reaction spontaneous ano LA in the Ningla Parana. Okay, Namki Sialo and then a Gibbs energy change indication delta G equal to delta G equal to delta H minus T delta S. Values are the coastal thunder tender. Yes, enthalpy change delta H equal to the enthalpy and entropy changes for the reaction are 490 kilojoules per mole and 198 joules per Kelvin per mole. So, delta H equal to 490 kilojoules per mole and delta S equal to 198 joules per kelvin per mole thanne irikkunnathile rendum rendu units aanu nokki ningalu oranam kilo joules lum oranam joules lum aanu rendinum ore same unit aakanam aakalo endu yanam delta s ne 10 raised to minus 3 ond multiply cheya that is 198 into 10 raised to minus 3 kilo joules kelvin raised to minus 1 mole raised to minus 1 in India, in this term, contribute to the T delta S temperature. Than that, temperature is T equal to 300 Kelvin. Therefore, T delta S and the equal to 300 into 300 into delta S. 198 into 10 raised to minus 3. 198 into 10 raised to minus 3. In the JD, I am going to value in the 59.4 kilojoules mole raised to minus 1. So, we will write down T delta S. Delta H in the value, 490 kilojoules mole raised to minus 1. So, delta H area, T delta S area. Direct area substitute in the same Delta G equal to delta H minus T delta S. Delta H is 490 and del T delta S in the value 59.4 kilojoules mole raised to minus 1. This is the same thing. This is the same thing. This kilojoules mole raised to minus 1. The answer is the So, delta G is the value 430.6 kilojoules mole raised to minus 1. That is delta G da value in the Delta G da value greater than 0 on Delta G da value greater than 0 on angle. The reaction is non spontaneous. Delta G da value greater than 0 on angle. The reaction is non spontaneous. Non spontaneous. So, delta G spontaneity is related to that. That is basically the problem that is related to that. So, if you like this video, please share it with your friends and friends. This is the next important topic in the next video. Till then, bye bye.